Last year, I did a tutorial on extracting numbers from a string. As some questions have been asked about it, I've realized the solution could be improved to handle decimal numbers and not just integers. So let's tackle extracting numbers, decimal numbers, from a string again. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to my courses that I've included in the description. And if you feel so inclined, there is a link in the description on ways to support the channel. The neatest trick about extracting numbers from a string uses regular expressions, which we will talk about. If that is an area you need to improve on, one of my most popular courses is on regular expressions, and it is specific to JavaScript. You can follow the links in the description for more information if you're interested. So what we'll do first is we'll look at some existing code for extracting numbers. I'll explain it. I'll explain the regular expression, and then we'll look at a problem with it. And then we'll look at how we can make changes to improve that, to be able to extract decimal numbers along with integers. So let's take a look at that code. Here's the code. I have a phrase up here. It has, it's a string obviously, and it has numbers embedded. We have one, two, three integers, and then we have this decimal number. We're going to see what difference happens because of that decimal number. Here's our regular expression, and basically what we're doing here is we're looking at digits. So we want to match anything that is a digit, one or more. That's what the plus symbol means, one or more. It's going to match those, and we're doing it globally, so it'll match all of those. Now, one of the nice features of strings in JavaScript is we have a match method of strings, which allows you to use a regular expression. And what that does is it creates an array of matches. And so result contains an array, and it will contain each of the numbers that we match. So as you can look at the regular expression, you may see the problem we may encounter with a decimal number. Since this is looking at digits one or more, well, the 15 is one or more, and the 25 is one or more. And they're separated by a non-digit, in this case, a period. So it's going to grab those as two separate matches and place them in the array. Then we have a for of loop just to loop through that array and display them to the console. So let's take a look at the results we get with this regular expression. So let me open up the console, and there we have our numbers. We're getting the integers just fine, but here is the decimal number, 15.25. We have the 15, and we have the 25. So let's look at how we might change this so that we can extract any sort of number, both decimal and integers. So what we need to do is we need to account for a period that might show up. Now, if you're in parts of the world that use a comma as opposed to a period, then you'll just need to adjust the character that we use. Now, a period in regular expression, that actually is a meta character. And so we need to escape that period. And so we have to have the slash and then the period. And then I want to indicate that it's zero or more because it may not be a decimal number. It may be an integer, so the period may not exist. And so the asterisk indicates zero or more. Then we want to indicate digits again, and once again, zero or more. And so that will account for a decimal number, but also account for just the integer portion right here, if that's all we're able to match, because this is zero or more. So it could match with no period, and no digits after the period. All right, let's save that and take a look at our results. There we go. We've got the 15.25 now. Instead of separating that, separating that into two numbers, it sees it as the same number. Now notice that those are displaying 
as numbers and that's because when we log them to the console we just convert that string this is going to pull out a string here and place strings numbers shown as strings in the array and then we just convert those with number here we could do that very easily with with number all right so that's our revised solution now there is one more situation that could make this difficult that you should be aware of if a number ended with a period say here at the end we had 35 what is that going to do well let me show you notice that it has used a 35 without the period why does that happen if we take a look at the regular expression it's going to match the 35 and the period so this is going to be the match that it finds but as we can see from entering this at the console number causes it to remove the period and so we just get 35 itself so that works for us as well all right please hit the like button and subscribe to help this tutorial get out to as many people as possible and remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section especially if you're interested in regular expressions Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week, and thanks for watching.